In this video, you'll learn how to save the layout of your desktop icons using the registry editor. Once you have all your icons laid out on the desktop how you want them, you would right click on the desktop and click refresh. Clicking refresh saves the information to the registry. Now click on the search icon and type in registry. Click on registry editor. In the registry editor, open up HKEY current user, open up software, open up Microsoft, open up Windows, shell, bags, one, and then desktop. All this information you see to the right is where the layout is stored. You can see the different resolutions. From here, right click on desktop and click export. Choose a location and a name. Click save. Now you'll notice wherever you saved it, you'll have a registry file. And you'll need to keep this file to restore your saved layout. So we'll put it over here and let's go ahead and test. Here's our layout. We're going to move the... Okay. There we go. Now let's say all your icons got out of order and you wanted to put them back to the way they were. You would just go to your registry file, saved, and right click on it and then click on merge. Answer yes that you do want to merge. And it should give you a confirmation that it has been merged. Now, if you notice, the icons are still in the same position. They haven't moved back to where they were before. What you can do is either reboot or you can open up the task manager. Do control delete and then click task manager or right click on the task bar and click task manager. Or you can type in task or you can search for task manager. Once the task manager comes up, Click on name to sort by name and then look for Windows Explorer. Once you find Windows Explorer, right click on it and then click on restart. Now you'll notice that all the icons went back to the way they are. Make sure you keep your registry file in a safe place. If you ever rearrange your desktop, you'll need to go through the same process to create a new registry file. If you'd like to make it a little more automated, what you can do is create a bat file. Click on the file explorer window because we're going to have to turn on file extensions and then click right here where it says file name extensions. So click on view and then file name extensions and then close that window and then right click anywhere on the desktop and then click on new and then click on text document name the file and the txt change that to bat bat this is going to be a bat file press enter you'll be prompted asking you if you want to change it click yes and you'll see the icon will change right click on it and click on edit when you click on edit it'll bring up a text editor and you can either type this in or I'll put it in the description of the video and you can copy and paste it. And what this is going to do is like we did manually, it's going to go and tell the register to export this key. And then it's going to say go to the user's desktop and save it with this name. You can change this name. You'll need to keep the .reg, but you can change this name right here to whatever you want. And that's what will save it as on your desktop. You could also change this location if you wanted it in a different location like in my document. Click X. You'll be prompted to save. Click save. Now go ahead and double click on the icon. And you'll see it run and a new icon will appear on your desktop or wherever you have it set to save at, with the name. And if you right click on that and click edit, you can see that it's the same information that we needed where all the icons are saved. And that will be the file that you'll right click on and click merge to restore the saved icons. And to save the icons, you'll use the bat file that we created. But remember to right click on the desktop and click refresh before you do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.